Hey guys, today I wanted to share a huge Sephora haul with you. This actually is physical proof that I have a shopping problem, but I mean, everyone who knows me knows that that's true anyway. But yeah, this is a really collective haul that I've been hoarding for a while. I don't really know why, I just like, I've been too lazy or like, I, actually that's not true. I haven't had enough time because you know, work and stuff like that. But this entire bag is full. And this is a this is a this is a good size bag. So <clears throat> it's a lot of stuff. Most of it is from the friends and family sale and like all that stuff or like the Rouge sale or I don't really know whatever the sales were that happened and then just like random things I picked up over time. Are you ready for this? It's a lot. Okay, so first thing I got was one of the biggest purchases that I purchased in the sale. Well, I mean pretty much the only like big big purchase that I purchased. And this is a Illuminage uh, laser hair removal laser. This is the Illuminage laser and I've had this for a few weeks now. I've used it a bunch and I can definitely see a difference. I'm mostly using it like on my chin area, my mustache area, and my underarms, which I actually need to do that because that's like I've been a little slacking on that area. Um, <clears throat> and essentially it's like any at-home laser. You have your laser right here and you just hold it and it flashes and you can do anywhere on your body with this laser, which is great. And you can use it on any skin tone. So even darker skin can use it. And apparently you can also use it on blonde hair. So. But otherwise, I definitely see a difference. I've used it probably, I've had it for probably a month and I've used it about four times, so once a month. And I definitely see somewhat of a difference in the hair growth, but it's not like completely gone. So, I mean, I'm hoping that it's like a miracle and I'll have like no hair left. Okay, but let's jump into the way fun stuff. I'm just gonna pull stuff out. I have a lot of skincare in here. Here, I have a lot of makeup and a whole bunch of other stuff. Okay, these are two supplements that I got, and this is the Paracone Essential Multivitamin and the Paracone Skin Booster for firmer, brighter, smoother skin. Um, yeah, I don't really know much to say about those. I haven't tried them yet, but they look nice. Skincare, Peter Thomas Roth, 20%. These are the Glycolic Solution Jumbo Peel Swabs. These look awesome. There's eight swabs, so it's a two-month supply. You use one per week, and it's coated in a strong, a 20% glycolic complex, and it's gonna do amazing things. I can already tell. I love this brand. It might be because I have the same last name as Peter Thomas Roth, but um, I really like it. Okay, so this is a brand called Biosance. It's kind of like a newer brand to Sephora, and they use squalane, and I thought I heard someone, but it's actually my dryer. Um, squalane is really, really great because your body kind of naturally rec recognizes it as a hydrator. So it's super hydrating, it's plumping, firming, all that kind of stuff, anti-aging. This is squalane and probiotic, but it's a gel moisturizer, which I love. So I've actually been using this and I really like it. It's good. It's like a little, um, like a thicker kind of gel but it's like still lightweight and it doesn't make me break out and it doesn't smell like anything and it feels good and I really really enjoy it like that's something that I probably will like repurchase um, Peter Thomas Roth water drench hyaluronic cloud cream um, I got this before I discovered this I like both I think I like this better for the summer because this is what I was using in the summer and this better for now because this is a little stronger um, as far as like hydration goes when you're really dry in the winter. I love this brush set. Okay, this is a Lustrous brush set from Makeup Forever. It has five different brushes in it including um, brush number 140 which is my favorite brush ever but they don't sell it separately anymore unless I'm blind and I couldn't see it, I don't really know. But 140 is amazing, it's this little guy in the middle and it's the best for blending out your under eye concealer. I use it mostly on clients, like for my bridal clients and stuff, but I also do use it sometimes on myself as well. But that is a really, really good set. And that was like $80 for that set, which is a great price. I don't really know why I bought this, honestly kind of regretting it. It is what it is. Um, I don't need this at all, but it is cute. It is the Amika mini straightening brush. I have the full size brush, it's really good, even though I still tend to use my GHD flat iron more so than I use the straightening brush, just cause like it's easier and I don't know, I just like it. It's really smoothing. 
Um, I haven't tried it yet. It's kind of small, so I figured it's good for travel. So, I mean, I guess next time I travel, I'll let you know. But this was a cool set that I got for holiday. Um, it was one of their online only sets because I just never saw it in store. And these are three of their lip glosses. And I, these are, sorry, it's Marc Jacobs. Um, these are three of the Marc Jacobs glosses. And I love Marc Jacobs glosses. Like, if you know me, you know that I carry around French Tickler gloss from Marc Jacobs in my brush belt. And I tell everybody that Selena Gomez wore it in her fetish music video, and that's why I bought it. And it makes my lips look so big. Every time I wear it, people are like, did you get your lips done? Like, it's a good one. It's real good. So this set actually came with French Tickler. So I was like, I need this. Need it in my life. So it comes with this bag, which honestly is kind of creepy. I'm not really into this bag. Like, does someone want this? Like, I don't know what to do with it scares me um but it does come with three glosses which are super nice it comes with french tickler my fave go-to um and then it comes with want me question mark which is a really pretty like milky pinky color love it such a nikki color and then this one i'm not quite sure about but i know i actually haven't tried it so maybe i'll love it and it is called pink steam but it's definitely purple i figured these were great and honestly like the price was i want to say like two the price of like two glosses was the price of this set so i thought that was a good set and honestly i'm super pumped about it um next thing is this product and this is a self tanner that i have not used yet it is the tan Lux hydra mousse uh hydrating self tan mousse and i got it in the shade medium dark because you know i like to look real tan and it comes with a mitt, but it's not like a great mitt, so it is what it is. Um, but I like it because it's clear, so like has no color guard on it, basically. So like if I put this on before I go to bed, I can go to sleep and it, I don't wake up with like color all over my mattress or my my sheets, <clears throat> which is like great. It's a really like really. <laughs> Let me talk. Which is great because it's the reason why I bought this was so that I wouldn't wake up with um, dark sheets because I recently this is like way TMI, but like whatever it is what it is um recently I used to have like a dark purple sheet but it didn't really go with my bedroom because I started adding more pink as you can see in my room um and so I switched over to like a light pink like uh baby pinkish sheet color and I was afraid that I was just gonna get self tanner all over them so that was a long-winded response to why I got that clear one but I haven't tried it yet so I'll keep you updated I got this Stila eye for elegance liquid eyeshadow set and this is their the liquid like glitter shadows it comes with oh it comes with peachy sheen smoldering satin next to not wait they're all the same colors kitten grace twig I don't really know I'm not really sure but they're really pretty I really really like those and they're great for like if you're going out and you want to do like a really pretty like glowy look on your eyes or if you just want something that's like a little extra for the day those are amazing more skin stuff um Cisa pear tiger grass or repair, repair serum from uh dr dart that just reminded me when i was younger like when i first got into makeup like sephora and stuff i used to call serums wait I used to call serum serums and everyone used to make fun of me. So then I switched and I started calling it serum. I think that's right. Yeah. I used to say, I like this serum and I sounded like dumb, <laughs> but, um, I'm excited to try this. It's supposed to, oops, it's supposed to be really good for redness and it's supposed to be really good for like repairing the skin. Um, have not touched it yet along with most of the things in this bag. Um, but it looks pretty good this is a set from biosance it's called squalane superstars and it comes with a full-size peptide eye gel which i'm excited to try and then it comes with a mini squalane and vitamin c rose oil and then a mini 100 percent squalane oil so I thought that was a good set because it came with all three and it was the same price as the eye cream by itself and I've always wanted to try the eye cream ever since that brand came out came onto the Sephora market so I'm excited to try that this love this set well actually I haven't really touched it yet but I really like the look of it it is the nude sticks limited edition nude artist box um basically a bunch of youtubers like got together and created colors in this nude stick selection and it's really pretty it's only 60 59 and the value is 144 because it's five 
one, two, three, four, five, six full size shades. So I'm going to try to open it, but it's kind of stuck. So I'm just going to probably rip it. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Can't return it now. Um, so nude sticks, it comes in this metal box and, um, right here it has the six people six people the youtubers and like influencers or whatever who helped create them and then the colors are all very like nude and like super wearable which is why i bought it um the only one i don't like is a really dark one it's not that i don't like it it's just that it's brown and like it's not gonna look good on me but on dark sand it will look really pretty and then you also get a free sharpener which is really cool so um my favorite on here is probably freckle from the look of it should we try it on? We probably should. And Freckle is created by um, Samantha. I don't know her last name. Uh, I can Google it. Give me a minute. Freckle. Let's try it. Oh, it's just like what I'm wearing. A little darker. know I don't think I really like that on me just kidding it's not my favorite mm. I feel like it's too much color I'm used to wearing no color anyways it is what I keep saying it is what it is <laughs> moving on I got this Becca I got like actually two of these yeah, I did yeah, too. Um, this Becca Blurring Primer, which I used to really like up until literally three days ago when all of a sudden it's pilling on me like crazy and like I don't really know what I changed. So it's very strange. Um, all of a sudden it started like pilling and then it like gets stuck on my fingertips and then it like pills off my fingertips. It, like it leaves like a layer. So like, I don't know, a mixed reviews on this. It's the apricot haze one. I don't know. I mean, I have it. Like I literally use it every day. I'm torn because it looks really, it, it's, part, it's a good primer. Like it's a really good primer. It blurs my pores out, mattifies me. It keeps my makeup on like a decent amount of time. It's good stuff. It's just, it pills. Have you guys tried this? Like, I don't know. I'm a little mixed about it right now. I got the Sunday Riley Saturn Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask. It is what it says it is. What? I swear I'm like carb deficient right now. I haven't eaten carbs in like three weeks and I, my brain has gotten stupider. Like it actually has. Whatever. Saint Tropez Finishing Gloss. This is the one night only gloss. So you put this on your body if you want to look shiny AF and like glowing in the dark. Not really, but kind of. And it's for like, if you're showing off your legs. It's a little tacky though, so I mostly got this for like when I do photo shoots, like on the model, to put it on the model to make them look like glossy and shiny and amazing looking. Um, but like, you could wear it if you're going out, like on your like collarbone or like on your arms or something. It is really, it is really pretty, but it's a little tacky. I got Makeup Forever Duo Matte Loose Powder. I don't know what color this is, but but I got I do like it I own that already I just got I just got an extra um this is Brio Geo scalp revival charcoal and tea tree scalp treatment this has really good reviews online and it's basically like for your scalp so if you have like like dryness on your scalp or like anything like that's a little off or whatever like my in the winter my scalp gets like super dry and like flaky and I got like product built up like crazy this is supposed to help with that so we'll see this is NARS eye paint in the color black valley it's just their um liquid liner which I hope I like it I haven't tried it yet but I got that for my kit because I, I need like all the gel liquid liners in my kit possible because that's all I use on people this is another um secret weapon for my kit for my bridal clients it is the metallic luster liner in the color liquid gold from Anastasia I put it in the waterline and it is like 
beautiful. This is Milk Face Gloss. And again, this is for my kit. This isn't for like my personal use. This is for um, if I want like a glossy eye look on a, on a client um, for a photo shoot or like whatever the case may be. Just like a gloss. It's a clear gloss, but you can use it anywhere on the face or body really. Um, I picked up the Tatcha Deep Hydration Firming Eye Serum. I don't know why it was like $80, but I needed it. Um, I also got this Tatcha water cream, which I have not tried yet. I haven't even opened it yet, actually. It's sealed. Um, I heard really good things about it, so we'll test it. I got one more Tatcha thing. Oh, yeah. I got the glossy. The, glo the one with the gold in it. It feels so nice. And you can just like put it on top of anything or like I personally I like to use it before I go to sleep at night. Um, picked up the Natasha Denona, the I'm have hair all over me. The blackest black matte eyeshadow. This is so legit. I love it. I need one for myself and one for my kit. If I can get it open, that'd be cool. Okay. It is so black. You can't even see it. It's so black. It's so matte. And it's so pigmented, no fallout. Don't ask me how, I don't know. Highly impressed with this. It's really, really good. I don't use black like all that often, but when I do, like that's a good one to have. I got a Tarte Pearly Girl, which is my favorite teeth whitening pen because it's bleach free and it doesn't like hurt my teeth and it makes them nice and white and it's good stuff. I got a couple different brushes from Makeup Forever. I am obsessed with Makeup Forever brushes. They are by far the best that I've tried personally. So I got two more blending brushes and I got these um, for my kit because I just like go, I not go through brushes, but like they're dirty and like if I have 10 bridesmaids, like I need to like, you know, I need like extra brushes. So I got these for my kit, but this is two for two fluffy blending brushes. And I got three of these because these tend to get a little like not as sharp after a while. Like, you know, after a full bridal season, like they're not going to be like sharp and pointy, but these are the tiny little liner brushes. I love these. I can't do good liner without these. That's just a fact. It's just known. And these are the 250 straight they're tiny little firm bristled brushes and they're the best. I got three of these Dior Addict lip tattoos and these I'll probably end up putting in my kit. I haven't actually used them yet. I might like test them but I'm not really sure. But they're basically like lip stains. The heck. Um, and they look like this and I got the three, there's like four colors I think so I got Natural Cherry and Natural Nude and Natural Berry. And the Cherry and the Berry I'll probably end up putting in my kit. And then I might, I might keep the Nude for myself because I like a good Nude. And um, I could always rebuy it for my kit too. But anyways, so it's these three shades. And these last a really, really long, a really good long time on your lips, which is awesome. So those are like a good purchase. I'm really like, I'm very impressed with those. Then I got recently the, oh wait, I got one more of those colors. Natural pink. Duh. How could you forget about the pink one? The pink one. So pretty. And then I got the um, Cat McGrath liquid lip set. And it, it's kind of interesting because it comes with three colors comes with three liquid lipsticks and they're really nice. I haven't used these two yet. I'm probably gonna put those in my kit, but I really like this Divine Nude because I mean, I love a nude. And then it comes with a clear gloss, clear vinyl gloss. And then it comes with a shimmer that you're supposed to put on top. Mm, not a fan of shimmery lips. These are great, love it. I'm probably gonna use this on my eyes or something or like in my kit on people's eyes. I don't really know yet, but Overall, great buy because it was three lipsticks, a gloss, and a glitter for like, I want to say it was $80, which I feel like breaks down pretty nicely. Like full sizes? I don't know. 
I feel like that was pretty decent. And you got some like crystals in it, like little um, sequin things. It's cute. Um, ooh, this is weird. This is from a brand called Volition, and it's, don't really know much about it. It's a skincare brand, it's new, it's only in certain Sephora's, but I picked one up at one of the Sephora's. This is a weird gel eye, eye cream, and it's very gel-like, and it feels like silicone, which I kind of hate, but I kind of love, because I'm like, all right, like it's, uh, I don't really like silicone, so it feels kind of icky, but, um, underneath your concealer, I feel like it will be really smoothing and like creamy. Like your concealer would go on nice and smooth and creamy. You know what I'm saying? So we'll try it. Um, it says AM and PM. I would never use it on my under eyes at night. Like girl, no, so much silicone in there, but for under makeup, it could be brilliant. Um, Stila rose gold retro this is their um liquid glitter one of theirs the rose gold is my favorite i love it so much um i did like a holiday i went to like a holiday party and i used i used this was really pretty i used the black natasha denona eyeshadow like all over and like smoked it out and then i took this and patted it right in the center like a halo eye it was amazing i might do a tutorial on it it was that good um, this is the Too Faced Glitter Glue, which I got for mostly my kit slash me if I wanted to do any holiday looks using this, which is it's a great glitter glue. Now that I've been talking for 28 minutes and 14 seconds and I look pale, so pale, because this lighting right now remind me to not film without sunlight ever again, because I don't like this look. I feel ugh, really ugh. Anyways, um... Hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you picked up from Sephora recently. Um, and stop shopping. Like yesterday. It's a problem. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. And I will definitely talk to you guys soon. Bye.